Championships number 31. We kick things off with an amateur featherweight contest. Kieran Chessworth fighting out of the red corner, representing Next Gen Liverpool. He's in the black trunks, trimmed with black and red, as he takes on City Combat Clubs. Ryland Roder making his Roland making his debut in the black shorts and opening things up with that calf kick. <laughs> James level got head underneath head. the hips. And the next gen man. Straight into half guard as well. He's working on, on grip there. He's trying to break the grip. Is uh, Roland off the bottom? Yeah, Roland doing right. They're pushing away on the head, trying to get a little bit of distance. But you would imagine again. Allowing him to posture to strike high. This is not going to have anything too damaging when he's got control of that head. That's true, but the, uh, the other thing is, though, this is a three, three, you know, three, three minute rounds, and right now, position in the fight is being won by the man in top position, whether whether he's landing tons of damage or not. Closes up the guard now. See, Chess, we're just trying to get a little bit of posture there. Full control there as, as Chesworth. He's he yeah. got the guard back though as, uh, as Roland. And, and, and it keeps moving from hip to hip. He's looking, can, trying yeah. to control the arm. He's not taking any damage. It's just position. But he steps over there. He's throwing. He's a full mount there. He pass, yeah. Yeah, he's passed legs into full mount. He needs to make a push up against the cage. He's got good, again, he's controlling the posture. He needs to sit up and that will land some strikes uh, or work for a submission, obviously. But it looks like Roman is able to defend. He's got the posture. Yeah, he's straight. He needs that, to break that. That's it. Lean on the head and break that grip. That's what he needs to do now. Without doubt, Roman is not surviving. But it's a great position with a little bit of time left to work. Yeah, we don't know how long he's got left. We haven't got the time on it. Chesworth, though, and again, not wasting anything, looking composed, lands when he can. Yeah, he's got but full control. It's a smothering attack at the moment. I love the fact that no quit at all in the city he's going to head and arm. Yeah, to the side. He's to roll with him, he needs to roll with him. He needs to roll with him. He's trying to find him. He needs to, because he, he needs to flatten him out to finish it. Yeah. He hasn't got it on yet. You can see there's room now. In the he's got the room. It's tight, but now he's squeezing that. Looks uncomfortable. I think maybe get the knee off the belly and, and rotate round. He needs to flatten him. Yeah, he needs to flatten him. Again, Roman Roman showing that he's not here just to make up a number, though. He wanted a way out of this fight. He's had any number of reasons to. Yeah, that choke was tight. You can see his whip. He was right. Right by us, you can see him wincing. Great first very, round. Very dominant round. And again, you have to look. Probably two minutes and 35 seconds of top control. Close to a finish as well. A little bit of ground and pound. So it's a 10-8 it's a round in my book. Uh, and it's, we've got a shout out. We've got a UFC superstar in the corner there. Paddy the Baddy is here with his next generation. Yeah, that's brilliant when, when these guys that have made it to that level yeah. still come and support him. Yeah, but he's there working, obviously. Paddy ain't that old. It wasn't that many years ago that this yeah. is where he was. And it's lovely to see. And now he's supporting his team and he's in there in the corner and helping push the next generation through. Of course, Adam Venture in the corner, you know, probably took part in one of the greatest amateur fights ever when he fought Dylan Tuke back in that just an amazing flipping fight. And you've got Ben Kelly as well. I mean, yeah, well. so Simon Bolton in the corner, he's got history with Almighty as well. So these next gen fight now, they're seeing the new coaches start to come through as yeah. well, and it's wonderful to see. Second round, Kieran Chesworth again, the white shorts trimmed with black. He's representing Next Gen and Ryder Roland, the City Combat Club man in the black shorts. Last time Roland started off well on the feet, but he needs to stop that takedown. And he's, he didn't, he didn't, he, just there. he didn't base, he didn't, he just grabbed and then he 
he should have spread his legs. He's gone straight into mount. He's got hold of the head there, but there's nothing. There's no leverage there. Yeah, really hard to get at any sort of finish from that position. Just going to control position for a little while. And He no. doesn't waste anything in this position. He takes his time. He's got full control, hasn't he? Yeah. But again, what impresses me about these guys, especially when they're making their debuts, they're early in their career. You want to wear it, here it is, but Ryder Rowland's going to continue to try and fight, gets to his hips. Arm triangle choke again. Yeah. He's got him flat on his back this time, so he's more likely to get it. Now you want him to step over, that's push it. off the cage. But last time he, yeah, that's on now. That looks on to me. Yeah, it does look to, yeah, it's going to no, go. he's gone out again. He needs to flatten his back. He keeps going to his side, does Rowland, which is what's defending, yeah. taking the leverage off the, off the choke. He's, there's good defense. Squeak looking for a dodge, now. maybe. Now that looks, that does look tight. He's gone for it. He obviously feels that that's on. He needs to get hold of those legs, but I'll tell you what, Roland, just to stop. Yeah, there's no quit in this kid. He's rolled out of that because he, look, he looks like he's out. He looks uncomfortable, but now he probably needs to look at standing up, I think. But again, a minute and 20, so oh, he's going to change it now. Try to take the ball. A different level between the two of them at the moment. He's jumped there for, has he gone for the arm? Yeah, he's gone for the arm. He's rolled through, he's gonna go for a triangle now. He's gonna go for a triangle. And then on. Trying to take the arm. That's it, he's in a triangle choke. Yeah. Yeah. Avoid this. It looks so tight. If he extends that arm as well, that'll be it, I think. Tell you what, you can't question Roland for heart. All right, absolutely. You can tell when a fighter's in here for the fight. I think he's going to survive again. Another very, very good round. Again, a hugely dominating round yeah, for another, the. Another possible 10 8. Oh, is that I think so. No, he's not, he just can't get the angle on the arm. Not yet. Not yet. He needs to pull the arm across the body now. I don't think he's going to get it in 10 seconds. I wonder how his legs will feel after being in that choke for all that time. Because I've seen before where he's had him in a choke and then they've gone tired. The thing is, he didn't look like he was overexerting himself. But for me, that's two 10 8 rounds. So you look, for me, Roland needs a stoppage now. Oh, wow, I think without question. Yeah, I mean, it, wow, even if it was two 10 9 rounds, he'd still need a stoppage. But he definitely needs a stoppage now. But this, again, uh, when you're getting, and I'm going to, uh, without being disrespect, disrespectful, when you're getting dominated a little bit like that, it, it's got to be so easy just to go, yeah, and that's not my day today. But he's con he continues to work. He gets yeah. out of these positions. He's making... And some of these positions have looked quite tight. Yeah. I mean, we're, we've got a really close view. They look tight. And we've seen his fa we've seen the Grimish see it there. But he's still fighting for it. Absolutely. You know? And for a debut, being able to defend and work through those submissions, it's very impressive. And Chess were doing everything right. I mean, in the first round, he saw, you know, he got that top position held, and he didn't even wait for the second round. And I imagine in this round... We're going to see him look for the takedown almost immediately. Three, three minutes left to separate these two young featherweights. Karen Chessworth, the red corner, the white shorts. Ryder Roland, blue corner, black shorts. They touch gloves again. And Ryder, in the first two rounds, he started quick on his feet, and that's what led to the change of level in the takedown. Just slowed himself down a little bit now. Yeah, let's see what. Uh, wow, it's obviously that Roland wants to keep it keep it standing, but as soon as he as soon as he throws something there, he's worried about, of course, of, of the takedown, and that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. And right now, it doesn't look like he. Don't, I'm not saying there's no power in this, but he's not throwing anything that's going to stop his man with one. 
No, and he needs he needs it now. He can't he can't stand and do this for three minutes. No. He, he may win a round, but he's not going to win the fight. You, I would I just still wouldn't know how tired uh, Chesworth's legs are after being in that triangle choke for all that time because he had it on for a while and it, it did look quite tight at some points. I'm just wondering what it's going to take for Chesworth to just to change levels and take him down again. It had yeah. it, it's not been broken for the first two rounds. He no. he, he had his way there and he did it. For, he did it pretty sharp in, this, in, this, in round yeah. three. It was within 20 seconds of the, of the, of the opening of the bow. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for the takedown already, to be honest with you. Spinning there, kick attempt there, but he gets rather half-hearted, like not a lot of pop in it. I feel that Cheswick's got a little bit tired. He's done all the work, he doesn't need to do any more, but he's, he, does, he has slowed down in this round. But has Roland got enough in him to take advantage of it and to land something significant? Because, to be fair, Cheswick doesn't need to do anything for this round. No. But Roland does. Absolutely. Almost fainted the change of level there, just dipped himself down a little bit to Chesworth. Yeah, Ch I think it's a completely different tactic from Chesworth in this round. Yeah, not. I don't know why he's not wanting to get in close again, because he's not really through anything striking. No, it's not like he just doesn't seem to want to engage for this round. I mean, he's done all the hard work. He's won the first two rounds convincingly. You know, possibly, I think, in my eyes, 10 8 rounds, because he was close to finishing each round. Close, even when they close distance, yeah. I was expecting maybe the body lock or something, but no, happy to he's not fight a range I, now. I, I think he's, he's got tired a little bit and he's just wanting to see this round out. But Rowan's got a not, not enough in him to push the pressure and make him pay for it. There he goes, he's throw big. Takedown, but, but maybe the takedown was the most significant bit, so maybe it damaged it. Whether the yeah. be interesting to hear the scores. The 29-25, something like that. 20, yeah, 26. Two, two, I can't eight, count. And a 10-9 in the way, yeah. so 10, 29. Well, 29, 26. Wiser heads and ours have come to the decision. Mr. Seth Khan is in the cage. While we wait, we want to give a quick shout out to Fight Ticket and to Vulcanite, to Eric's Fight Gear. Thank you for sponsoring Almighty Fighting Championships. With no further ado, let's make the first fight of this afternoon official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28. All score this in favor of your winner in the red corner Kieran Chesworth please show your appreciation for Ryan Rowland 